Well, hi, my name is Robert Rowan, and I've been asked to conduct uh, question and answers on um, a very interesting product called Carnivora. I wrote about this in the year 2004, but that's not when I first got interested in it. Actually, I got interested in it when I heard about it living in Alaska in the 1990s, and I had read about the work of Dr. Helmut Keller, who was using uh, a novel cure for immune problems. Dr. Keller had uh, done a lot of studies with this product and had a lot of patients, and a lot of patients got better, ranging from immune dysfunction and infection. And I started using it while I was in Alaska and was very pleased. In my 2004 article in Second Opinion, uh, I summarized the work of uh, Dr. Keller and what he found in carnivora and why it might be able to do so many wonderful things. In my own mind, I tried to put together how uh, a plant could do so many different things for so many different conditions. But the bottom line is to try to get the body to do what nature designed the body to do, which is heal itself. We have all kinds of healing mechanisms within the body. We just have to trigger them. Our immune system goes even further. It takes the process of oxidation and it generates compounds that kill foreign invaders. So oxidation is an integral part in how the body heals itself, how the body manifests resistance to invaders. Well, Koch discovered these catalysts a long time ago, and it turns out that what he discovered actually exists de novo in its native form in carnivora extract. There are compounds in it called drosserone, plumbogen, hydroplumbogen. But these are very powerful oxidation catalysts well, now we have a plant that actually has these compounds in it, so it's considered an herb, which is totally legal to use, and it's effective orally, which is even better. These catalysts that um, Keller discovered modulate the immune system, and they literally do miracles for a wide variety of conditions, from infection to autoimmune disease, and beyond that. And a lot of doctors would say, how can a single therapy do so many different things for so many different conditions? And they're gonna come right out and say, this is quackery or nuts. It stimulates the immune system to create beneficial cytokines and interferons. So if the immune system gets out of balance like this, and you give oxidation therapy, it's gonna bring it back like this. If it goes like this, it's gonna bring it back like this. Oxidation therapy stimulates the body to raise it back up to its, the, the level of functioning that God designed for us. If we can get cytokines and interferons to come online, the immune system talks to itself, talks to cells, one cell talks to another cell, and you can get it turned on. Well, carnivora has these compounds in it that evidently do this and probably can spare people a tremendous cost, which I will tell you, to me, is the cat's meow. It is the ultimate treatment for many of these things, but it turns out that carnivora may work just as well for a large number of people, which would make it far less expensive and easier to do because you can do it right in your home. TH1 is the T helper cell. The TH1 system is cellular immunity. It is the key immune system of the body. It's the, it's the cells which will defend us from parasites, from sophisticated microorganisms. Just a weak cell, cellular immune system sets you up for problems. Well, it turns out that the TH1, the cellular immune system, is in balance with the, what's called the humoral immune system. Now the difference between the two is, in the cellular immune system, your cells actually go out and grab the invader and destroy it. 
the cell itself. It might be natural killer cells, other white blood cells. The humoral immune system is where you have antibody producing cells making antibodies against the organisms. And the antibodies will then come and attach to the organism, making an immune complex. And then the rest of your immune system has to come in and clean up the debris. That's called the humoral immune system. The idea is to be in balance. And we're not necessarily talking AIDS here. We're talking common, everyday living. And with the type of medicine that's practiced and with the chemicals that are in the environment, the toxins, the poisons, and the malnutrition, we have an environment now largely where people are like this, with an overactive Th2 humoral pathway and an underactive cellular pathway, so their immune systems are weakened against sophisticated infections. And what we need to do is bring them back into balance like this. We need to lower the activity of these, of these overactive antibodies, which are out there not doing very much, and we need to raise the cellular immune system, which is the key, the gem of, the immune, of, of our immunity. Oxidation therapy does this. Turns out that Keller found many years ago that carnivore does the same thing through these compounds in it, like plumagen, which is an oxidation catalyst. So now we have an opportunity to modulate the immune system. The word is modulate. Bring your immune system back into balance so that it can get turned on, the key pathway, the cellular immune system, get turned on and fight the infection and the problems you're dealing with. Now you just asked me about immune modulation. Modulation means getting the body back into what it's called its homeostatic balance. There is such a thing called homeostasis. Homeostasis is the natural balance that the living organism seeks. That's called homeostasis. The immune system is a homeostatic mechanism as well. And we're finding out now that the immune system gets thrown out of whack with chemicals, with improper diet, with malnutrition, the majority of Americans are deficient in minerals and probably a lot of vitamins as well. This process is called homeostasis, bringing the body back into balance. The immune system has homeostatic mechanisms so that it gets turned on at the right time and it gets turned off at the right time and various aspects of the immune system get turned on at the right time and get turned off at the right time. So when the invader comes, certain aspects of the immune system get turned on to go and attack the invader and then that gets turned off, hopefully. And then the debris cleanup team comes in to clean up the debris. Well, if the first team doesn't get turned off, then you have an overactive immune system that's constantly creating inflammation, which is good initially, but if the inflammation isn't cleared up, now you're left with chronic inflammation, possibly autoimmune disease and degenerative disease from ongoing inflammation, which needs to be stopped so that then the immune system can come in and go through the repair process. When we talk about modulation, we're talking about getting into the body, what God designed our bodies to need to bring the body, and in this case, the immune system, back into balance. It turns out that carnivora has a lot of these compounds in it that can bring our immune system back into balance, also known as modulation. Dr. Keller found, which has uh, been corroborated by uh, even more recent work, is that there's an ideal ratio of T helper cells to T suppressor cells. It should be more T helper cells to suppressor cells. We're talking about modulation here. And we're trying to get better functioning T helper cells, which are the heart and soul of the immune system. In chronic disease, in immune dysfunction, in immune, what we would call insufficiency, not enough immunity. The T helper cells are 
suppressed, their function is suppressed. And the goal is to increase their function. T helper cell suppression can lead to a variety of chronic illness, Lyme disease, um, chronic infection, parasites, even cancer. Our goal is to have as well a functioning helper immune system, helper cells, which is the Th1 or the cellular immune pathway. Uh, different terms for the same thing. Um, the idea is to get this pathway modulated to its optimal performance. Absolutely phenomenal at what it does for most people with immune problems. With oxidation therapy, for example, we see an increase in T helper cells. In the case of carnivora, we see the same thing, and that's probably due to its plumbogen and plumb plumbogen analog content. The T helper cells come up, and when they come up like this, the suppressor cells come back into balance and we're bringing the immune system back into balance with more T helper cells and T helper cells that are more functional. These effects result in powerful immune defense. And powerful immune defense, in my book, runs the gamut of helping yourself deal with infection versus helping you yourself out with allergy. Two different situations. As I said, allergy is too many antibodies running around. I have had patients who have taken carnivora and they are able to put their symptoms into remission taking it. In some cases I think it's been a permanent remission, in other cases it might not be, but even if it's not a permanent remission, it sure beats shooting a blank, even if you have to take some carnivora indefinitely. And it's sure cheaper than oxidation therapy. The idea behind immune modulation, whether it's oxidation therapy or carnivora, is to get your immune system back online to hunt for, see, see, seek, and destroy these stealth pathogens. I believe carnivora is one of those natural, easy to get substances that can do this. The idea is to get your immune system to come back online, turn on, and go after these organisms. So the concept of the stealth infection, I hope, will be understood by the viewer or the listener of this as an opportunistic organism that got into a weak body and has set up shop because your body is too weak to get rid of it. Nature provided us things that help our body. They're found in nature. This is how God designed the planet. And from my experience, and research, carnivore is just one of those things that can help do that. You asked about synergy. One of the things I like about herbal medicine is you're getting a whole nature made product. And you'll get all of these phytochemicals, phytonutrients, phyto, P H Y T O, meaning plant chemicals, found in nature as God designed us to have, which is the perfect balance. One of the things I like about carnivora is, since it's made by nature, it has in balance many things that are, will help your immune system, not just one. For example, I mentioned plumbogen. Well, it's got arginine in it. It's got amino, other amino acids in it. It's got minerals in it. It's got enzymes in it. These things are a balance, which herbalists for centuries, millennia, have said is the best means of treating a sick body, is with the whole plant. And it's absolutely phenomenal at what it does for most people with immune problems. You asked why I like the carnivora product in particular as a Venus flytrap extract. It's basically because it is pure, undiluted extract of Venus flytrap. It's not cut with anything. By the term cut, it means diluted excipients, fillers. I'm interested in a pure, unadulterated product, and that's why I like carnivora.